I couldn't imagine a life in which I would not be surrounded by music. And I mean that in the McEwen sense, if you like, of having a sort of electronic wallpaper decorating your room. I mean it in the sense of driving along in your car with a cassette cartridge in, which shelters you from the world, which protects you, which keeps you at a certain distance from the world. Because I think that the only advantage that any artist has, and I think that any artist can really write about, and all artists do write about whether they know it or not, is that distance from the world. Some realize it, and some do not realize it. I do realize it, and I know that I obtain it through media. And I know that I would have been very unhappy as a 19th century man. Now, friends, the item that you've just heard was recorded here in the studios of St. John's, Newfoundland, CBC, of course, by Mr. Howard Moore and myself. And it may seem to you that it's a paltry contribution, summing up one's life in 43 seconds that I have just so brilliantly done. On the other hand, I would like to point out that since in your average day of 1,440 minutes, there consists 86,400 seconds, and since if we multiply that by the average 30-day month, now I'm aware that the average month does not really have 30 days, and that there indeed would be five days left over if one took a year of only 12 30-day unit, 30 unit. But even so, if the average 30-day month then has 2,592,000 seconds, and hence the average year consisting of 12 30-day months, which I'm aware it does not have, it has five days extra, but would consist thereby of 31,104,000 seconds, I have then in fact lived since I am approaching my 36th year, but have not yet approached it. I have then lived 1 billion, friends, 1 billion, think of that, 1 billion, 88 million, 640,000 seconds. Now, if you stop to realize that I have compressed those 1 billion, 88 million, 640,000 seconds into 43, think of that sentence, get a catch in your thought as you contemplate the idea. I have, in fact, given you a ratio of my experience and existence which amounts to 1... 2,531,729 of that experience. Can you imagine that? Do you realize what you have just had for so little? For no fee, in fact. Not even an honorarium. Mr. Howard Moore and I have given you 1,2,531,729 of my existence. And we're proud of ourselves. <laughs>